going to do keep Sal and loan because uh, there's a lot of players who I think I might uh, cause a bit of controversy here. So Alisson Becker is m my number one and he is the number one player we need to keep around. If it wasn't for him, Liverpool would be very, very close to the relegation zone. This is how bad we've been. Like this is this is the levels of shit that we've been this season. So Alison Becker, number one, he's at this football club. Will he stay at this football club? I bloody well hope so, because we need him. We need him. Um, Adrian gotta go. Queeving Kelleher. I feel absolutely sorry for Queeving Kelleher, but he's got to be loaned out or sold because he needs football in his career. I, I, I as a selfish Liverpool fan, I really want him to stay, but he needs to play football. He's 20, 25 years old now, I believe. Like he's got to, got to go out and and play football. He's twenty five in November. He's an absolutely exceptional goalkeeper, but he will never get past Allison. Joe Gomez had three terrible injuries, but signed a five year contract this summer. I don't know, lads. I don't know what they see. Um, he's terrifically inconsistent for for someone of his age who should be now a mature defender. Virgil Van Dijk is starting to go on the downward spiral. He's still brilliant, but he's starting to go on a downward spiral. Ibu Kanate is on an upward take, but he's had a, a couple of really awful, awful, awful games. Simicas, I think he might leave. He needs football. A bit of a similar situation to Andy Robert uh, to Quevin Keller here, because he's going to be stuck behind Robertson now, unless we make the decision to really, really play Simicas a bit more, because I think he's been okay when he's played. Calvin Ramsey doesn't even bloody exist, lads. What's happened with Calvin Ramsey? What's happened? We've signed five and a half million pounds on on that man, and where has he been? You know, he's had a lot of injuries. Fair play, but he needs opportunity. We need to give these players opportunity, otherwise they won't improve their physical peak, especially in the situation that we're in now. Robertson is on a downward spiral. Matip is completely on a downward spiral this season. Reese Williams, why is he still here? Nat Phillips needs to leave for his own good. Trent is getting into that peak now. That He's another one who's going to be in that peak. But again, he's only got two years left on his contract. Will Trent Alexander-Arnold want to stay at Liverpool? We've all had this confirmed in our head that he would be a Liverpool player for the rest of his career. Where's the guarantee in that? Will Liverpool give him a new contract? Does he deserve a bump a new contract? He's on 180 grand a week at the moment. Does Trent Alexander-Arnold deserve a long-term new contract? No. On this season's form, no. Especially on an increase in pay. He'll have two years left after this one. Does he deserve it? I don't know. I really don't know, guys. This is a... a, a, a really like, how, how is, what, what, he should not, he, I don't want to sell Trent, but realistically, with two years left on his deal, if he's demanding ridiculous wages, which I think he probably will be looking at 250, 300k a week, and will he want to be playing in the Europa League? He's a Liverpool lad, yes, but will he want that? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Fabinho, he has to go, but who's going to buy him? Who's going to buy Fabinho right now in the form that he's in? I think it's a form thing, and I think it's a physicality thing. As we spoke about earlier, he is a real on a real downward spiral with physicality because he has played a lot of football in his career and a lot of different physically demanding positions at right back and at defensive midfield. I feel sorry for him and the amount of critique he has, and I have critiqued him a lot, but Jesus Christ, he's been so shit this season. Why? I don't know. Thiago Alcantara has, again, got a year left on his deal. Two years left on his deal, sorry, come the end of this summer. He uh, signed a deal till 2025. He'll be 33 by that point. <sighs> I don't know what the future of, of Thiago Alcantara is um, and how fit he can stay because we need him to stay fit. But we are relying so heavily on him at the moment. James Milner is 37 years old, lads. Like, what? Like, realistically, he shouldn't be in the position to be playing on a regular basis for Liverpool now. However professional he is and how much we love him, he shouldn't be in this position right now. Naby Keita, disappointing, has to go. Henderson, relegate his role, but keep him around. Oxley chamberlain why is he still here? Curtis Jones is in a real difficult situation. I'd give him one more year. I'd give him one more year of actually playing some semi-regular football. But I'd play him until the end of this season, lads. I would. 
Because the best time we, the best football we saw of Curtis Jones is when he was playing regularly in that twenty twenty to twenty one season. He's not playing regularly now, and I think it's damaging for a young player. Why not just play him? See how he does. I know some fans don't like that, and some fans don't like him. But why not? See what he can do. Starting games. Why not? Harvey Elliott, the, our player of the season, Bart from Allison, like our outfield player of the season, definitely brilliant. Brilliant lad, brilliant player, but again, he doesn't know his his best position yet. I don't think I do, and he's got to come into that physical peak soon. So, yeah, Harvey Elliott. Pff, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Artur, does he exist? Firmino, right? Bobby Firmino, new contract. I'd be behind it. But we've got a lot of... We've got probably seven attackers now in Firmino, Salah, Gakpo, Jota, Diaz, Nunes, and Carvalho. And then you add Elliot. That's eight attackers. That's good depth. It's the one place we're okay. Mo Salah signed a new contract this summer, lads. Will he want to be playing outside of Europe next season? Well, maybe on the money he's getting, yeah? Cody Hakpo. I think a lot of unnecessary hate is directed towards him. Top player. Will be a top player. Jota. Missed him. But he needs to get fitter. He has a tendency to get injuries at the moment. Diaz, again, same thing. Big injury. Hopefully, it doesn't become a regular thing because he's class. We know how class he is. We know how class Darwin Nunes will be. And Carvalho, the same. So, I keep every one of those around. But it's 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 we've got a squad where we probably would sell half of it. 